Okay, you're going to take your burlap, fold it in half, and fold it in half again. Take one of your Chanel stems, it's cut in half, stick it through, stick it through on the other side, just go like that. I'm going to use this 14 inch wreath frame. It's from the dollar store. Just secure that Chanel stem on the frame using one of those center wires. Do it from the back side. Just twist it on there. You can use any kind of wire. You'll see when I do the ribbon later on that I'm just using floral wire. Yeah, don't use those uh, really nice scissors because on that wire, use those uh, old ones, old pair of scissors to cut that. All right, you're going to use that section. See how it's divided into six? You're going to start in the center of the wreath and work your way out. And you're just going to pull that burlap up. All right, so you're going to use your fingers as a guide on how, use four fingers, stick them in there, on how uh, long you want that. Do the second or the center of the wreath, All right? And then you're just going to do one more on the end. Just pull it up. Make sure they're all about the same. I'm using my four fingers just to measure. Okay, so I'm going to grab it, push it over, turn it out, turn the whole thing over, and just twist that burlap a few times. Then you're just going to do it again. You're going to do that three times between each of the um, wires that go down. So three times six. See, you're going to go back up and you're going to start from the center. Push that through. You could just toss that other end of that burlap onto the ground, let it roll, get it out of your way. I purchased this burlap from Hobby Lobby. I was checking out and decided I wanted one more, and the third one that I grabbed, which was up by the register, was a dollar less that I had already rung up. She had already rung me up while while I was grabbing the the third one. So um, of course I used a coupon. Twist that. I'm going to do it one more time. One more row of three. Then you're going to move to the other side of that little piece of wire. Push it up towards the center. Pull it up in the middle one. And then you're just uh, going to continue after you do that third one all the way around.
All right, you're gonna take that ribbon and you're gonna cut five pieces at 16 inches and you're gonna cut one piece at eight inches, that'll be the center, and one about 20 inches and that will be the tail for the back. Then you take all those 16 inch ones and staple them to get the ends together and take that little one and staple the ends together. So for the tail, you just fold it in half on the end and cut that little, a little triangle, seal it with your lighter. I'm just putting a little staple there so it's all gathered the way I want it to hang. Now take your 16 inch pieces that you um, staple together, um, the ends together, stack them all um, in the center, gather the centers and stack them all together. And then using a piece of floral wire or Chanel stem, you're just going to secure them all together nicely. Then take a piece of wire and only stick it through the center of that small eight inch piece. Don't, don't go around the whole thing. And then you're gonna do the tail on the back side. See all those wires hanging off the back? You're gonna use that to secure it to the wreath. Now fluff that bow all up. It's a nice thing about wires. Uh, you can fluff it up after you're done. Now using those long wires, you're going just to uh, stick it through the wreath, find, find that wire frame and attach it to that. There you go. Thanks for watching.